Okay, so how's everybody doing? So uh, this is going to be the final then on this small modern warehouse, which I call really the baby warehouse, but as you can see has become the loft studios. Like now in this period of around 2010 or so, this is an older building obviously, so some artists took over the building. It's not served by rail. But uh, what I want to just tell you first before I go ahead and close on this particular build and paint is um, I never covered the stairs here. Or the door and the reason why is that is I've covered it exclusively under the brewery and the large warehouse build and if you go to videos chronologically I don't know which format you view the channel on or how easy that is but I know it is for a desktop if you go to the home channel go to videos scroll back chronologically to vlog number 46 the brewery build building HO scale stairs part 4 and I cover it really well there. I just never had the time to get to put that in here because I have so much content in post-production and just keeping the momentum of things going for everyone and trying to cover certain aspects of the build because I know people are following along and and uh, getting inspiration and, and uh, working on their own layout. So I want to maintain a certain flow. And also, I just also want to mention there was a really interesting question, great question actually, where somebody asked about, you know, do you go from one building to the next, you build in a linear fashion? Well, I go back and forth because, like, I'll go one step forward, two back, because things get queued up in production, and then they go into post-production, editing, etc., etc., and therefore, some are really long, some are super intensive editing, some take 20, 30, 40 hours of editing, some take one hour, two hours. So it just depends what comes out of the queue. Uh, unfortunately, I know it makes the channel seem a little bit scrambled because we want to see things in a linear way. But if you go to videos and you just look under the titles and, and, and the read more down below, I covered just about everything, okay? So let's move forward and uh, uh, have some fun with this final build. I'm going to show specifically again how to build railings like this because I've done them all in my buildings and I think they're just great because they'll hold up and take a bang and they take a lot of you know abuse and so on and they look pretty good too okay
Okay, so you can see uh, just previous to this, uh, before I carry on, is I made a mistake. I was getting, you know, moving too quick. It's, um, I'm at the end of the day. I've had a long, long paint session. I'm tired. And I spilled some paint. So what I did was, is I just dumped the paint out and then I just filled my cup with some isopropyl 99%. I just started pressure washing it all down. This is all fixable, all of it with an airbrush. But I like some of the stuff that's happened because of the mistake, see? All this sort of weathering around the cracks. And what I like the most is, is look at the roof, the galvanized roof, how it turned out. I couldn't have planned that. So I'm going to save that. In fact, I'm going to put a piece of tape across that. And even if I lift it and it peels a bit of paint off, I'm going to touch it up with dark umber spot. So, you know, I wouldn't have planned that, right? But I really like that color. It's a combination of uh, the grays reactivated with the isopropyl and the umber. The reddish kind of umber underneath and then some of the stuff in and around here and on this deck turned out pretty good too so that's what i'm going to do okay